Hi, my name is Lynn Rosenthal, and this is the fourth in a series of videos about living at home after you have day surgery on a knee, ankle, or foot. This video will talk about what to do in the shower and the bathroom. Next, we're going to talk about some modifications you can make to your bathroom to help life be easier and less stressful after your day surgery. One of the most important things to remember in general is that you do not want to have any scatter rugs on any of the floor surfaces in your home. So as you can see, it's very um, common to have a, a little bath mat in your bathroom. We want to make sure to get rid of that. After surgery, you may feel like when you want to take a shower, you need a little extra help as far as your balance and coordination. And if this sounds like you, we would really recommend that you go ahead and borrow a bathtub bench. And that's what this is right here. And it can be adjusted um, similar to the way that the walker and the crutches are adjusted to fit properly into your tub. You want the seat back to be facing here. And another great thing to do with the shower or tub bench is to go ahead and buy yourself a handheld shower, which we don't have. We just have a regular shower head. But if you get yourself a handheld shower head, it's going to make life much easier for you if you do feel like you need to use the shower bench. And then there's a few other things that I think make using the shower bench particularly handy. One is that you want to make slits in your shower curtain. So you're going to just buy a regular, um, not very expensive liner, and you're going to cut slits, two slits in the liner, so that you can then, you'll see that those um, slits are right there. You're going to be able to put the liner in through the shower bench to make sure the water doesn't flow out. If your doctor gives you the okay to take a shower, you're still going to need to keep your bandage dry for several days. So we're going to show you a way you can do that. Greg, you can go ahead and bring that little basket up that's over there on the floor. You can go ahead and pull it up with the rope or just reach down and bring it. So first we're going to get out two plastic bags from the basket. and we're going to cut the ends out of the basket, um, the plastic bags. We used four gallon bags. You might have to use a 13 gallon bag if you find that your bandage is too big. But for, for this um, illustrations we've used four gallon bags. So we're going to, you're going to put one gallon, um, one of the bags over your bandage. And then you're going to use a rubber band to secure it on the top and the bottom. So next you're going to wrap a hand towel around the top part of the package and you're going to secure that. We're using some blue painters tape just to kind of secure that in place. And then you're going to go ahead and put a second um, plastic bag over that hole. Package. And then we're going to take that painter's tape again and we're going to secure that around just to tape it to, to your skin, just partially tape it to your skin. Because you want to have a really good um, seal there around so that no water can get in. And then go ahead and just wrap it right around so that there's a really good seal there. And this may seem like a lot to go through, but um, you really will feel a lot better if you can take a shower. Um, it can make you feel like a whole new person just to get cleaned up. All right, so now we're gonna show you how to get onto this, the uh, tub bench. So you have your crutches. You're gonna put the, to one, put the crutches to one side and carefully Bend down, get on your top bench, put the crutches away. Okay, so you need to put the crutches down and you're going to position your shower curtain 
in the proper place so that the water will not get out of the shower. So this is where the little slits come in very handy because you're actually going to take that middle section and push it down through the slit in the tub bench. And these kind of shower curtains can actually be purchased if you were going to need to do this long term. It might make sense to purchase it, but this is just a $1 shower liner. Okay, so we're all set there. And then once you're in the shower, there are going to be a few things that you can do to make life easier and safer. One is your um, soap. You can put your soap inside of a nylon stocking and tie it to the side of the bench so that that way, if it were to fall, you wouldn't be trying to reach around and get it. And you can use the soap to get yourself all nice and clean right through the nylon. And then there's also a shaver. You know, so you could you could go ahead and have your shaver tied to the tie bench. That way it, it's handy for you. And your shampoo could be tied to the tub bench so that it will not um, cause a problem if it falls. Before you get into the tub, remember to put your towel somewhere handy because you're probably going to just sit on the toilet to get yourself dried off. And also, it's handy to have, if you like, to use lotion and powder. Have those nearby, either on your uh, a side table or on the back of the toilet. And I've, again, I've kind of strapped them down um, just in case they fall, just to make them easy to recover if they're something that you use a lot. If your doctor does not want you to shower in the first couple days, consider purchasing a shampoo kit as shown here so that your hair can be shampooed by your caregiver. That will also make you feel a whole lot better those first couple days home. You'll want to set up your bathroom so that everything that you need is handy. And it's a really good idea to have a stool in your bathroom. So Greg, why don't you go ahead and sit down? Because that way you don't have to use a lot of energy standing up. And plus, you'll just be more comfortable and probably a little safer if you're sitting down on a stool. So from this position, you should be able to you know, go ahead and brush your teeth and you could wash your face. And you also want to um, make sure to stock up on some bandages if they don't um, give those to you. You'll want to have some kind of um, soluble fiber perhaps because lots of times pain meds can cause problems with constipation. Um, a pill box organizer is really handy to have, probably one that's even more, has more slots than this one I'm showing. Um, and to get that totally filled with all your prescription meds before you leave for surgery and to explain that to your caregiver because again, like I said earlier, the first day or two after you come home, you can be very groggy and foggy and it's really important for your caregiver to understand what medications you need to be taking. So then just set up, you know, with everything you need right there on the counter so it's handy and you don't have to go searching for it. Um, your blow dryer, your brush, your cosmetics, and a handheld mirror can also be handy to have. Thank you for watching this video. We hope these videos have been helpful to you. There are additional videos available on using a walker, crutches, setting up a main station, how to manage in the kitchen, and then a to-do list before surgery.